Hello everyone, Indulger here again with another Fire Emblem Heroes video for you. This is day four of week 46 for Ether Raids. Wow, pretty good. We've had a pretty much hit and miss week. We got a success just in there, but uh, sandwiched between these minus 60s. This was an Ike, I think. One of these was an Ike, and one of them was Bridal Fiorm, if I'm not mistaken. We'll show that at the end of the week, but then we got two overnight, which was a complete wipe. This was a complete disaster. That was fun. I always like seeing that. And then this one, they didn't know what they were doing, <laughs> so I'm happy to show that later. Um, we are around 3,000, so hopefully we should get a decently easy fight today. It's going to just be one, and we'll get to it in a second, but let me quickly show the teams. No changes from last time. Robin was MVP of yesterday's fight. I really discounted these spurs to keep uh, Naga alive, that cab line we hit. So... Well done, Robin. She's pretty solid. I always like her in my rotation. She gets at least a couple of plays a week. So, All right, like I said, we'll get there in a second. But I just keep screwing with me, and they <laughs> keep dropping news bombs on me when nobody expects it. And I was sleeping, ironically. Like, I went to bed pretty early last night. Uh, we've got a new update. So we're basically running out of Gen 1 units that need refines. We've got two more axe units and Virion finally gets his weapon. He's one of the original four, right, that you got for free. And then loot, I guess, already had a preferred weapon. I don't have loot. I don't know. So she's going to get that. So I don't, the only ones really left for Gen 1 are, are basically healers, right? Like we don't have, I have to look at the list, but are we going to get any healer preferred weapons? Like, I guess, like, I don't know why you're so scared of it. You can make them support units, you know, you don't have to make them broken offensive monsters. Like, you've shown that you can give pretty decent preferred weapons, like, to Lance Lucina, Brave Lucina, right? Just do that. Why can't you just do that? Give them some infantry skills, like infantry breath or infantry pulse or, I don't know, something. Anyway, rant aside. Figure it out, I guess. I'm, I'm tired of seeing these junky healers be worthless. Um... I didn't want to do that. Let's go back. So one other big piece of news, and I normally do this as part of a uh, impressions video, but I, I expected this to drop on Saturday or something, not freaking Thursday night. So let's watch it. I actually watched it already, so I normally do this live, but it's fine. Whatever. If you're not interested in this, you can skip to AR, but uh, we're going to go break down this banner real quick, and I'll share my personal thoughts. So we got Thrasher, it was kind of unexpected. Pause that for a second. So I had to look this up because I wasn't sure. Uh, that little dot, dot, dot is an anima. I mean, obviously the I was like confused. Like, is that, is that like a colorless thing? I don't know. <laughs> so it's an anima, so she's a defensive AR unit, which I don't know, kind of bummed. I really wish she would have been something on the offensive side. I mean, we sort of already have a, a green tome I guess Yoon's dark though, so it's a different set, so I don't know. Anyway, she's pretty cool. Here's her stats and skill, or not not her stats. Here's her skills. She's got eye finger. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't pronounce that. Um, another dragon foe killer. Uh, wow. So uh, I kind of like her weapon. She actually can play that well with someone like Idun, where she's going to debuff her own ally, but there are a bunch of allies in the game that would utilize that, I believe. Uh, Idun's one that springs to mind. I'm sure the community will find some way to craft some very scary defensive teams based on that. Um, but yeah, Ayaz continues her tradition of, of trying to smack down dragons. I, I, dragons really that problematic. I feel like every mythic we have has a dragon killer. <laughs> Naga, Thrasher, I don't know. But we got Moonbow and Flashing Blade, which are, you know, they are what they are. I think Marita had Flashing Blade Forces. So she's now the second unit that has that. And then we've got her preferred B skill, which is kind of neat. Uh, two conditions that will trigger as an or. So either if the foe is below 100 HP or a status effect or debuff is on the unit, she gets a pretty big... It's it's during combat, right? So it's inflicts on during combat. Okay, yeah. i got to read those during combat skills because I just built up... Um, our free Grand Hero Battle unit. I don't remember his name. <laughs> I forgot his name. Astrum? 
Astrum. And uh, yeah, that's a visible buff. I thought it was an in-combat buff. So I built him really hardcore, and I'm like, oh, you're not as good as I thought. So read the skills. That's always helpful. But yeah, that's pretty nice. That goes very well with her Flashing Blade. She must be very fast um, to get Flashing Blade 4. And then Panic Smoke. Panic Smoke's going to be a, a fun um, C skill. Uh, fun as in <laughs> not fun for people who have uh, uh, really scary AR defense teams. I imagine that's going to be a nice skill. The biggest things that we run into problems here on this channel with AR have to do with panic shenanigans. Panic like... Uh, Legion's Axe or Henry's Weapons. Now anybody can run this freaking thing. It says it, it's target and foes. So, wow, that's going to be good times ahead. So she's a good unit. Um, I don't know how hard I'll go after her. I guess, oh, one thing, she does a Shadow Ball there. That's kind of cool. She's like uh, trailing her inner Mewtwo. I was going to say before I move, she pairs well with uh, Duma because that HP condition would trigger her skill. It makes sense because they're both the same anima unit, so. All right, so here's the more interesting piece. What units are we going to get? So we knew all these in the front, all these horses and air. This is the first one we did know, but we pretty much knew. He's Soren's the last Valentine's unit. He's a blue tome. And we got Veronica starts the spring. I think she starts the spring. I don't know if we have him last time. We got Yoon and Genny and Warren to flesh out the colorless side, gel and Ellie Wood. Let me talk about that for a second. So let me know what your thoughts are on this banner, but um, let's see. Colorless, if you've watched my channel enough, you know I've got I've got enough airs, guys. I don't think I'm gonna try to pull any more airs. Uh, corn is appealing, and I don't know if I need a guinea. Uh, so I think colorless is gonna be tabled. Um, blue, so I don't have a Soren, it would be nice, but Soren's not that great. I have plenty of Ephraims, and the other blue is Gel, which is basically an inferior version of Effie, because, like, you can merge her, so why would I go after her when she's basically Effie? I think that was what we decided when she was released, so not interested. Um, but green and red are pretty nice. Obviously, we got the Mythic Hero on green. We've got Yoon, which I don't have, so that would be good to pick her up. And then, uh, what's the other green? Veronica, which is kind of funny, because if you, spoiler alert, if you haven't played the game for a while, Thrasher is Veronica. Oh no, did I just ruin it? <laughs> so that's a nice little um, homage there to to her. And uh, red, yeah, we knew we knew red already, and I would have been saving for, for this for a while. Ellie Wood is a great unit for many modes, and I don't have Rid, and Erica would be an okay pity breaker. She's got attack speed solo. So let me know your thoughts on that. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to spend about 200 orbs on red and green because I like what I see there. So let me pivot back to what you came here for. Again, let me know what your thoughts were on that banner, but... Um, and I apologize for not making that separately. If you don't want to see that, I apologize. Um, but yeah, let's do it today. <laughs> we talked briefly about what happened last week. Day four was the, the day that ended my career, basically. I had a 10-week top 1,000 streak going, and I just blew three ladders on day four. And there was a few problems. Like, I went 100 ether. I don't think we want to go 100 ether. I've got enough rematches to feel comfortable. I've got one, two, three... So there's really only three more fights left if everything works out great. I'd like to pick up another rematch, but we'll see. I'm just going to fight once today, and uh, anything else to talk about? I think that's it. You're going to fight once today because our ether regeneration is going to put us at maximum if we can get out of this. So, all right, we've got a tier 22 Roy. Roy doesn't scare me too badly. It is defensive season, and I have a defensive tank. Okay, we've got a Duma who's not rushing us because he doesn't have any way of going farther unless there's a Guidance in play. There's no Guidance. There's a Lucina. Why wouldn't I just come there or here? There's a Kangas in a mini corner. <laughs> I've never seen something like that. 
so he can go up and down. They gave him some space to run around in his prison. That's nice. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to just go. I mean, if you remember, if you keen memory, then you remember I got wiped by a Duma um, against an armor team during that during that meltdown on this very day last week, I believe, and I lost to a Duma that doubled me. But that's a defense panel, guys. That's a different ball game. And we can trap the Kangas, because he can't move. I don't have a smite. Do I have a smite? Anybody running smite? You're running shove, right? Oh, I did put smite on you. Huh. So I can put a Kangas here, smite. He's not gonna get corn buffs. It should be okay. Moombo. Well, yeah, I could actually have dragon effectiveness on. Look with a Naga right there. Smite. One shot the Duma, hopefully. And then. There's no healing tower, too. So we could actually wait if we needed to. He's got a minus defense, which is even better in our favor. He's not running his defensive set. I think we're good. Yeah. So smite, kill Duma, dead, dead, dead. And we can take our time. Can I put a, is it possible to put a um, Renea next to him here? Just too many things. I think I wanna do that, because this, this really is my only smite team. I don't need Robin for anything, I just want to smite. So, how can I get Renea over here? So, if I repositioned... This should work. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Kangas goes here. Naga goes here. Um, Renea goes here. And then Corn can stay where she's at. Stay here, smite, he now ends there. No one is there. I repo. Renea here, and then she steps on this panel, and then no one can get me, because there's this huge wall. And that's, so that should be all she wrote, I think. So we're gonna take a turn to take this hit and set up. Anybody running anything that's gonna start the engine here? Nope. Don't think so. Are you gonna run? Does anybody have any rallies? Nope. God has blessed my steps. What is your desire? Gonna give him dragon effectiveness, gonna keep Naga there. It will be done. I guess I yeah, I should break that. There's no reason not to break that, because there's a wall that they can't get through, so we're gonna break that piece. And again, there's no reason not to break that either, so let's do it. So we're gonna get hit by this seven chip damage, but we still got our healing tower, we're gonna get that back. Everyone except Robin. And she is going to smite and see if we can kill this Duma. Can we? Yes. So should I start it? But it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Man, what I was going to say is that, well, she's not giving any attack bonuses, so it's a one shot. It doesn't really make any difference. It's one shot the Duma. And your position. Buff him. And then what do we do with this Naga? Who's getting this? Probably the dancer. Basically, do I want to move here or here? 
All right, we're gonna have our time. Once all four of these are dead, it doesn't make any difference. So I think this is probably the thing we need to go faster towards. Let's see what we got here. Oh crap, did I even look? Did he have a swap or something? Oh, he didn't. Oh, jeez. A lunge would have killed me. I didn't even look. He's still alive, though. Yeah, I just had a mini panic attack there because I was like, crap, did I not... <laughs> did I not do that? Did I not check to see what he was running again? And now I've already forgotten. I don't think that was the trap we stepped on because I don't see anybody running... Or down, uh, having a gravity, but I'm notoriously bad at forgetting what I've done with gravity. Yeah, I can't finish Roy, huh? Wow, that's disappointing. Okay. Well, I could hit this. You you don't have any way of stopping me, do you? I mean, I could hit this and then dance and then finish Rid off with Naga and then step up and kill the dancer. Seems like a reasonable play. Is there any way you're gonna survive? I mean, you're set up for it. You're on defense panel, it's gonna be 38. There's no way you're living. You're not gonna have, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Oh, right. Duh. I can't break that. What am I, an idiot? So, well, anyway, let's do that. This way? What is your desire? Hmm. And now we can move up here. No, I can't. Because I'm stuck. Should have moved first. That was dumb. Gravity got me again. That's what gravity has been doing to me this week. I'm not going to test that because that would maybe screw up Kangas. So, yes. just take our mistake. And hopefully we can kill this Roy, even though he's on a defense panel. Yep. And that's it! And we just gotta get this Kangas real quick, and the ether, and we'll call this a day. Alright. So I can... Who's getting this one? Who's gonna kill this Kangas? It's a standard defensive enemy phase set, so I think anybody could probably do it. You don't have armored boots on or any shenanigans like that. Let him run toward us. Okay. And we'll get that with Renea. Let's be on our way. Ah, I can kill him. With pleasure. Yes. So I will. And that continues our perfect offense for the week, which is... Nice, we had a perfect offense on uh, all last week, so that is, what is that? Is this day four? That's 11 straight days of perfect offense. I'll take it. Not a bad week, not a bad week, so that's going to put us at 1,200. Um, yeah, that 50 did cause us to fight another fight later, so that is our fourth fight. We have five more to go for the week. I've got three rematches that I feel pretty confident about that we can beat. Um... So yeah, two more public fights at minimum, and we're going to get out of this week. Nothing else came in, so it's going well for me. Let me know what your thoughts are for this week, how things are going. Point inflation is here. You're going to have to <laughs> you're gonna have, to have double Nagas if you have any chance of getting top 1,000 anymore. So Anything else I wanted to say? No, we covered all the news, so thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Daily Fire Emblem Heroes content. Take care. Bye-bye.